Isn't it crazy how one comment can lead to such controversy? How's it going, Mianthi? It's Dax here, and I have an unfortunate follow-up, I feel, um, from Mr. Ram not from Mr. Ramon Martinez, but from his students primarily. Um, after I made my response video, I reached out to the uh, HEMA world via forum, and I said, look, uh, Mr. Martinez feels that um, he doesn't want anything to do with, with uh, HEMA and that sport fencing or putting fencing into a sport is wrong, okay? Um, I know single stick, for example, has been around since the 1500s, okay? Very old. And I wanted to see from the other fencing uh, um, uh, uh, periods, because uh, like I said, fencing is very big, has a lot of information, right? Maybe the earlier sources, medieval and all that stuff, uh, uh, how they feel and how, how they see this. Indeed, many people said, yes, putting sword fighting into some type of combat sport has been around a very long time. Um, one person from a different classical fencing school said that they do do tournaments. Um, they do put it into a sport and that it was really Mr. Martinez's school that um, is against uh, the combat sport application. Uh, his words, not mine. Um, and then we have the responses from Mr. Martinez students, uh, Mr. Ben Miller and Mr. McDonald. And they decided to take the route of attacking me personally, instead of opening and sticking to the to the debates, um, basically they called me uh, a liar. They tried to say that my six months under um, their lineage wasn't valid. Um, they were even pulling up old text of me saying, "Hey, you know, uh, you know, I had to cancel or something like that," or or, or that that. Um, I couldn't make it out to to to, to train with them, um, <clears throat> Mr. Ben Miller. I flew from across the United States to try. He actually told me first yes, then he told me no. Um, and Mr. Ben Miller is a very interesting individual because he kind of seems like he was kind of had one foot in in Hima and one foot in um, Mr. Martinez's school. He has a lot of Facebook groups about uh, Irish fencing, and uh, he's really also big into Donald McBain. I'm big into Donald McBain. Early on, um, Ben Miller actually helped me out with some of the uh, um, Donald McBain stuff, okay? And I, I still um, thank him for that, okay? But he went into a whole tirade, um, basically saying that um, I, I should just shut up. I don't know anything. Um, he mentioned that um, in Mar Mr. Martinez's other um, areas of study, like Destreza and Bowie Knife, which I said, again, Mr. Ramon is very talented in those areas, okay? Um, but classical fencing, for many people on the forum, they felt, yes, it did qualify as a sport because it was in the Olympics. And this was prior to, to the invention of electronic fencing. Um, so instead of sticking to, to the debate and um, working it out for, for, for everybody to see what is their stance on it. And Hey, look, you know, Dax, you know, you, you got it wrong. You know, l let us clarify. Um, they basically just called me a liar and tried to discredit me. They even said that I said, that classical fencing doesn't do grappling, Ben, I never said that, okay? Um, so whenever you're trying to discuss a topic and people go into individual attacks, um, here's a great tactic, and this is something that I did um, to Mr. Ben Miller, who kept going on and on and on, uh, even after I, I tried to get him to stick to the facts and... Um, not get into a, a personal argument. This this really was for other historical fencers and other classical fencers to comment on Mr. Ramon, okay, to give their view. But 
basically Mr. Ben Miller and, and Mr. McDonald um, essentially were saying that, look, Mr. Ramon's way is correct and you have no idea what you're talking about, okay? So historical fencing is wrong. Olympic fencing is wrong. So what are we left with? Just Mr. Ramon's interpretation of fencing. And even Mr. Ramon said it himself, okay? His fencing is a big world and there's a lot, a uh, lot of different areas of study, okay? This, to me, exhibits cult-like mentality, okay? This happens a lot when, um, uh, and we don't mean like an actual cult, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, they're going to kill themselves, but um, a cult-like mentality in, in so far as, as, as glorifying your instructors having the only way, okay? Uh, Mr. Ben Miller also posted a, a strange um article that he wrote wrote up explaining why we shouldn't do tournaments in fencing and he's basically saying well yeah boxers and you know mma and you know grappling uh the, the idea is to be as aggressive as possible but in fencing you it's all about defense and yes that is uh, um that is partly true uh, you do want to focus in on your on your defenses. It does become a lot more important with the severity of a blade, right? But to think that people don't play defensive games in those other combat sports is absolutely ridiculous and shows just how little um, Mr. Ben Miller knows about these other areas of study, okay? Cuban boxing, for example, is known worldwide as some of the best boxers in their world, and they are a highly, highly defensive style, okay? So what I did was I, and, and you don't text them, okay? You video call the person who's insulting you, okay? And that's what I did. I video called Mr. Ben Miller several times. He refused to pick up until I wrote it on the forum. Hey, guys, I'm trying to personally uh, video call ben, Mr. Ben Miller, and he's not picking up. Um, finally, uh, he wrote back and I said, Mr. Ben, how about this? Next time in, I'm in California, let's meet up in person. Okay. You seem to have uh, something wrong with me. Um, I don't feel like, like if you saw me face to face, even on camera that you would, um, talk to me like this, that you would be a lot more respectful. And basically he refused to get on camera with me. Um, he said, <clears throat> that he doesn't want to see me in California. I said, you know, we could do a podcast. Uh, we could do a duel, a friendly duel, um, and, and compare historical and classical fencing because maybe maybe I am wrong. You know what I mean? Maybe um, it, it should all be about uh, 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 the, the classical method. And maybe historical fencers r really do have it wrong. So I wanted to figure out a way to... to um, that that we can uh work this out and i told him ben historical fencing and classical fencing should not have this beef uh we should be embracing each other and working with each other he benefits a lot from the historical fencing community mr maestro ramon benefits a lot from this historical fencing community last i would like to say because dwight woods uh doesn't want to interview me it seems i'm going to give uh, a couple of um, other names. I already gave one name um, <clears throat> as an alternative, um, but mm, the guy from Black Sun Boxing and Mr. and uh, Dr. Andrea uh, Royo. Okay, uh, the guy from Black Sun Boxing. Um, I don't know his name, but he, I know he was he did JKD, uh, Hema, Catch Wrestling. Um, He's, he's very similar to, to, to my interest, and he seems like a great guy. I think that would be a, a great interview for Dwight Woods to have. But in specifically in regards to the uh, Spanish influence on, on the Filipino side, which Mr. Ramon uh, didn't know anything about. And, and guys, it's not fair for him to, to expect of him to know anything about, I, again, Fencing is a huge, huge topic, covers a lot of things, okay? But but it was just something that he he, he hasn't done a lot of research. Dr. Andrea uh, Royal, 
um, is actually writing a thesis on this. He's been working on it a long time. He's doing a deep, deep dive into the influence of Spanish fencing into Filipino martial arts. It's clear that there is something, okay? Um, from, from what I've read of Mr. Andrea Royal's um, thesis, and it's not complete yet, um, it seems like the majority of the original schools of Filipino Screma were influenced by the Spanish or were formerly trained guardieros, the people I talked about, that uh, decided to open up schools. So he would be a fantastic resource for Mr. Dwight Woods to have. Um, and I, I hope he gets them. You know what I mean? Um, I, I personally don't even do Jeet Kune Do anymore. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it's fine if Mr. Dwight Woods uh, didn't want to interview me. Uh, I have bits of information that I would love, I would have loved, uh, that I've held off for a long time from, because like two other guests from Mr. Dry Woods have have commented uh, on their broadcast about me, um, about my knowledge in fencing in relation to Bruce Lee and the Filipino martial arts and, and how these are all tied together. Um, <clears throat> but unfortunately, Mr. Dwight Woods doesn't feel the same way. That That's totally fine. It's his show after all. Um, no disrespect to him. Um, and Mr. Ramon Martinez, I'm sorry if you feel I disrespected you somehow uh, because I have a difference of opinion on you. It definitely seems like your students uh, feel that way. And um, But uh, really, I, I, I disagree that um, sport fencing uh, poisons the martial art, if anything, I, I think it's it's been around a long time. This is a matter of perspective, and it's okay to have different perspectives. On the forum, the majority of historical fencers uh, who even cited sources show that uh, putting sword fighting into uh, fencing as a method of, of uh, uh, some type of sport to get better has indeed been around uh, for a very long time okay i mean what do you do as kids you guys grab sticks and you try you try hitting each other <laughs> okay um so there you go guys i hope that cleared up any information um and again if you guys ever feel like somebody's starting to insult you and not stick to the facts go ahead give them a call on camera okay um <clears throat> mike tyson says that we've social media has created a culture that people get comfortable with saying whatever they want without any uh, consequences. Uh, I, I'm not mad at Mr. Ben or, 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 or uh, uh, Mr. Ramon Martinez, and I wish them the best.